Hi, my name's Steele. Um, I'm the architect who's created this prefab studio in collaboration with Evan Graham, who's the builder. Um, let me show you around. This is the kitchen. This is the fridge, integrated. The freezer. The pantry. We also have an induction cooktop, oven, and dishwasher underneath. We have uh, drawer storage under the kitchen bench, and then we have overhead cabinets. We have a stainless steel bench top. We have the sink here with brass Australian made tapware. A little bit about the kitchen material, cabinet material. It's uh, a low formaldehyde plywood, which is classified as an E0. We have also used a low formaldehyde carcass material, which is also plywood. We have finished the plywood in a low toxic, uh, low volatile organic compound oil from Rubio Monaco. Um, we also have the dining section here, which is part of the kitchen area. It's made out of the same E0 plywood, and it's also finished in a low VOC oil. We have another bench seat under the window, which is the same plywood. And then if we go over to this section, this is where the bed is. Um, this is a queen size bed and it sits on top of um, some underbed storage, all made out of the same carcass material. Um, we have storage for the bed section with um, shelves and wardrobe, more drawers. And then we head on into the bathroom. So the walls are made out of OSB board. It's oriental strand board. It's a low uh, formaldehyde material, E0. It adds bracing to the structure when we're building in the workshop and it also creates an air tightness layer that's uh, vapor permeable. We finish that off in a Rubio Monaco wood crane, which is a zero VOC paint system. And that's a single coat. The ceiling is clear pine. Um, we've spaced it out in a batten pattern it's got an acoustic backing behind the pine. Um, so when you're inside the studio, there's sound dampening and adds to the quietness of the space. We have on the floor an Australian hardwood, uh, which is black part, and it's finished in a, an oil. We've got Hardwood windows and dub and they're double glazed with um, Viridian light bridge, which is a high performing glass. These are all made by more windows in Armadale. Um, they've put airtight seals around all of the operable doors and windows, and that means that when it's really hot outside or really cold we can shut everything up and, and not lose any um, energy. But when the day's really good, we can open it up and ventilate naturally through the brass fly screen uh, on the front door and the other windows around the studio. We have a ventilation system which allows us to ventilate the studio when all the windows and doors are shut. Um, because it's an airtight structure, we need the fresh air coming in and it's, it's filtered. So on a really hot day when, you know, it's 40 degrees outside and you want to cool down the inside space, we shut all the windows and doors 
down and still have the ventilation system on but because it's a heat recovery unit the cold air coming inside which is produced by the aircon is tempering the hot air coming in so the hot air hot fresh air coming in is actually cooled down this is the bathroom we've got a vanity running all the way through and got storage underneath it we've got a mirror shaving cabinet with storage uh, we've got a stainless steel bench top with the sink integrated and Australian made brass tapware. We've also got a washing machine underneath the bench. We've used a large panel on the walls called a Kobe board, which has a sealer on it. Um, we are trying to eliminate the use of grout to minimize any future mold growth. We've got a pressed enamel shower tray, which is a nice big walk-in shower shower as well um, and brass tapware in the shower made from the same company outside the cladding is weathertex which is a reconstituted wood chip that's uh, pressed together with a um, with a wax under a really high temperature and we've coated that with a Rubio Monocoat, which is a zero VOC finish and a hardwood bat. The veranda is all black butt hardwood um, and it's all pre cut in the workshop and put together on site. This whole section of the building is built completely within our workshop and it's put on a truck and we bring it out to site and craned off. And the only works that we do on site are the footing system and put the roof on and the veranda on. And I guess what we're trying to do here is produce buildings that reduce the need for energy input in the first place. And we've used the, the science from the passive house principles to do that along with good quality, high performing, sustainable materials that um, hopefully produce houses that are resilient and low energy into the future.